All right, so it's Ricky Repairs back it again. We have a 2008 Toyota Camry 3.5. So what we're gonna be doing is replacing the valve cover gaskets and the spark plugs. As you know, the spark plugs are all the way in the back. So you have to remove this intake. All right, so I'll show you everything step by step. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing we need to get started is remove this intake this box right here then remove the throttle body all right so don't be afraid that there's so many little lines right here see the short one goes directly in there the longer one goes up here let's gonna disconnect those disconnect this one this one goes directly to the intake right here as you can see Just remove this one. Let's go and unhook this. Right here. There's another one in the back here. There's another one right here. Small flame screwdriver. Just gonna try it slowly, pry it out. Just gonna drive it in. Just gonna push it back. All right. So with your Phillips or size 10 millimeter, go ahead and remove this bolt right here. This one. this with the flathead screwdriver just go ahead and pry it out see slowly you don't want to damage the hose just push it backwards all right so there's that it's gonna put the air box push it back Move it out of the way. There's a little small hose right here. Just go ahead and pull it out. Just go ahead and pull the box out of the way. All right. So go ahead and disconnect this little line right here. This connection. And I won't let you pull it out. This one right here. There's a hook inside there. The flash screwdriver, just go ahead and put it in here. After that, just go ahead and wiggle it. It should come right off. Just gonna remove this out of the way. So there's no clip right here. So on this last two, you have to push it back towards that way, towards the throttle body in order to pull it that way and pull it out. Next thing you want to do is remove the throttle body right here. There's four bolts holding it, size 12 millimeter. All right, so we're gonna keep this cooler line in there. We're not gonna disconnect it. We're just gonna remove the throttle body from the intake right there. All right, just gonna remove those bolts. So this as for these bolts are size 10 millimeter. I said 12, but they're actually 10. Don't forget this little hook to put it back the same way you remove it. All right, so if you don't want to lose any bolts, just going to put it back in there. So we will clean the throttle body since we have it out. So this is what I like to do to put the bolts back in so I don't lose anything. 
can see the throttle body is free. You can just clean it from here. There's no need to remove the lines, cooler lines right here. Because if you do, you'll lose coolant. All right, as you can see, we'll be cleaning that. All right, let's go to remove the intake now. Still have a few bolts in order to remove that. All right, there's a line right here to the intake, as you can see. You can either pull it whichever side you want. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it from right here. Just yank it out. Be stuck there. And this one as well. Pull it from here. All right, so I'm just gonna move it from here. All I'm doing is pushing this. The lock backwards. And then it's gonna pry it out slowly. Wiggle it, just come right off. Or you could disconnect it from here, the top. Which is way easier to disconnect from the top, as you can see. All right, I'm just gonna remove it, get it out of the way. All right, so in the front right here, there's only six bolts holding it. There's two that are size 10 millimeter, one, two, and this two, four on the center, this one, this one in front, this one, and one down here. They're Torx, and the size for that one is a Torx 30, T30. All right, let's go to remove those bolts. All right, with your magnet, just go ahead and pull it out. You don't want to drop these bolts. After that, just go ahead and remove it by hand. All right, so here's the tricky part. There's a bolt on the back that's holding it down. All right, just gonna remove the bolt on the back. Go ahead and disconnect this. So for this part, I had to use my pliers right here. Slightly fold it down. Don't do it too hard, because you'll break this part. Just go ahead and disconnect it. All right, so this wire is gonna be on the way. I'm just going to loosen some bolts and disconnect some lines right here in order to have move this around. So the back bolt's back there, so we'll get to it right now. All right, so there's one 10 millimeter right here. You can see that. This one right here. Let's go to loosen that. After that, this will come loose. We could move it around. All right, just gonna remove this one. After that, just remove it by hand. Just gotta put the bolt back in there. All right, this one. Just connect it right here. Just gotta remove this. Press this little hook right here. Up. That, just push it backwards. Now you're going to be able to move this back a little bit. Now your hands will fit in here. And the last bolt that's holding the intake is back here. I'm just going to show the camera. So you can go ahead and move this bolt down there. Just gonna move the one towards the ratchet already. Just gonna loosen it. All right, so once you break it loose, you could go ahead and remove it by hand. 
I don't know if I can do this with this camera right here. See, it's coming right off. So once you remove one of those bolts, as you can see, it's loose now. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect this. This line right here, this one, and remove this last 12 millimeter right here. This bolt, I don't know if you can see that. All right, so the last bolt is that one right there. This one right here. Says for that one is 12 millimeter. All right, just gonna remove it. Just can see it's in the tight spot right here. A regular ratchet socket won't fit in here. I'm just using my wrench. All right, once you break it loose, you should be able to remove it by hand. After that, you just want to put your intake to the side. As you can see, this bolt will loosen. This one was really hard to get to, so we'll loosen this one. All right. So go ahead and cover this right here. You don't want anything to go in there. So as you can see, the line for the brake booster right there, I left it on. All I did was unhook it from right there. That little hook right there. Just kept it on, as you can see. Still on there. All right, just gonna cover it right here. So I believe there's a total of 11 bolts holding it. They're two different sizes. One size is 10 millimeter and the other one is 12 millimeter. All right, just gonna get started. Remove this valve cover. Once you have it covered there, gonna unhook this. Unhook this little lock right here. Just push it back. Pull it back, swing on it, come right off. Just gonna remove this two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter right here. This one, second one right here. All right, just gonna put those bolts back in there, just their same size. Right, just get at this right now there's three bolts right here this one so you're gonna have to remove this oil line right here size 17 let's go ahead and remove it so there's gonna be washer on this side and on this side so go ahead and put it in a safe place once you remove it the size 17 millimeter you don't have to remove this cover right here it's holding on onto a 10 millimeter after that, you'll have access to this three bolts. Now we need a flashlight. All right, so here's the three bolts. They're all size 10 millimeter. This one, that one, the one in the bottom right there. All right, let's go to remove those three. It's gonna be a few on top right here. This one, this one. This one, that one right here, that one, and the one, that shiny one right there, that one. Just gotta remove these three. So as I mentioned earlier, once you break it loose, you can remove these bolts by hand. So I'm removing the bottom one right here. I'm just gonna remove it. Just gonna remove these two top ones. All right, so once you remove all the bolts top here, 
go to the other side. So this is where the sizes start changing. This one's still at size 10. That's gonna be a size 12 right there. That one right there. And there's one in the back, back here. So this one's gonna be a 12 as well. I'm just gonna remove this two right here. I'm just gonna remove these bolts. As you can see, I'm still using my wrench. So I'm just using my wrench right here to loosen this 12 millimeter. So same thing, once you break it loose, just gonna remove it by hand. And this 10 millimeter. All right, so this bolt won't come off. So you have to remove this bracket right here. back it to the side I right, just pull the bolt out so there you have it so you remember how it goes just gonna put it, the bracket the bolt back in so you don't forget how it goes all right so there you have it next one to get is the one back down here so you just put your hand there you'll feel it so the size for that one is a 12 as well. All right, let's get to that one. For that one, I'll be using my wrench. All right, so there's one back here. This is a size 12 for this one. And this one right here. And this one's back here. Right back here. All right, so the bolt for this one the one in the middle right there, it's actually a size 10. But the one in the corner right here will be a size 12. The one in the back here. All right, just gonna break this one loose. As you can see my wrench again. Back for some more. As you can see, let's break it loose. You could just roll it by hand. I'm just gonna pull that one out. All right, the other one is back here. This one is a 12. This one right here. We're gonna break that loose. Just gotta remove it. As you can see, there's the last one because this valve cover is broken. Alright, it's gonna remove this one. That's 10 millimeter. Alright, so I'm using my wrench again. Alright, so once you break it loose, you can go to remove it by hand. You could remove it from under the car if you want. Well, it could it could be done right here. All right, just gonna remove it all the way by hand. Make sure you hold on tight to that bolt. So here it comes. All right. All right, so let's go to remove the coil pack. And the last bolt that's holding it down is this one right here. All right, so once you remove that, your buff cover is gonna come off. All right, just gonna disconnect that. So all the lines for the coils as well. All right, just gonna start disconnecting the coil quick. After it comes off, just press on right here. And this little tab. Just gonna remove the rest. All right, just gonna loosen this 10 millimeter for the coil, just gonna pull it out. All 
that going to pull out the coil. It's going to try to pull it out with both hands, wiggle it. That's wiggle, wiggle it, wiggle it. Going to pull it out. See, it's in good shape. All right, so this is the last bolt that's holding it. As I said, it's this one right here. That one right there. All right, just gotta remove it. All right, so once you break it loose, I'm gonna remove by hand. So there you have it. That's gonna be the last one. All right, just gonna disconnect all these coils and remove the valve cover. All right, just gonna loosen this bolt right here. In order to have play right here and move this coil, just go ahead and unbolt it for a 10 millimeter bolt that's holding the coil. After that, just go ahead and pull this out. Just put the nut back in there. And that we should be able to hopefully keep this. So that's much better. It's going to disconnect it. All right. So for my connections right here, I'm trying to use my flathead screwdriver. All right. Let's go to disconnect this little one. You have to press on it really hard. After that, it's going to pull it. This little one right here. It's going to press on this. Do that. Disconnect it. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the injector line right here. All three. I'm just going to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and press on this little tab. This one right here. Hopefully it comes. Sir, came off. After that, I'm going to pull this lines in the back let's pull it up All right, so there you have it so for this one let's go ahead and unbolt this it should be a size 10 millimeter instead of disconnecting this lines right here let's go ahead and just remove this bolt right here Go ahead and remove that little bolt right there, the bracket, and go back here and remove all the electrical connections right here. This one, this one right here. Let's remove the one the bottom right here. This little sucker right here. Just go ahead and disconnect them all. So you won't be able to remove that bolt because this little hook right here, it's on the way. This one, let's go ahead and remove that. that little thing was in the way not even with the wrench you'll be able to remove it but now you have access to it it's better remove it now you can see the same before the little lock was on the way all right let's better remove it let's break it loose remove it by hand put the bolt back in there all right so that should be it should be able to remove this valve cover all right just gonna pry it out grab a flathead screwdriver just gonna go around should come off easily well not easily but somewhat easy Like I said, go all around and pry it. Go pry it all around. 
And once you've done that, just come right off. All right, so I'm gonna adjust the camera real quick. So you saw the other part that I got at the auto parts was too big. So I just went to the dealer and grabbed this one. As you can see if it's nice and firm right there. All right, I'm just gonna put some gasket maker right here. As you can see where's, where it's damaged a little bit right there. So I'm gonna go all around. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna do the rest. All right, so now we let it dry. After that, gonna replace your spark plug seals. For this part, just grab something plastic. So it will be hard to go in. Just go ahead and not the flathead screwdriver, but you could use this flat screwdriver, but go slowly. Just go all around the edges right here. Just go ahead and push it slowly. It'll be going in, so you have to do it all around. So you just grab with plastic and then press on this all the way. After that, you should be ready. All right, let's go and put this back in now. All right, so for the size 10 millimeter, there's all they're all 10. The only two different ones are going to be this one and the one back here. The torch for the size 10, 10 millimeter are seven foot pounds. And the 12 millimeter is gonna be 15 foot pounds. All right, I normally don't use this torque for this. I normally just hand tighten it. After that, give it a little snug with the ratchet. That should be fine. All right, just throw in the specter in case you want, want to do it that way. All right, let's go ahead and put it back in. Anyways, you pull it out, put this back in here first. Gonna start putting the bolts back in. Let's go to hand tighten it first. All right, go to hand tighten all the 10. So there's 10, 10 millimeters. There's one, two right there. Third, fourth, there's a fourth one back there. This one right here, that one, this one, this one, this one, that one, 12 millimeter, that one, that one's gonna be long. There's gonna be another 12 millimeter right here, back down there. It's gonna be shorter than this one. This one right here, this is a long one. All right, so there's gonna be another 10 millimeter down here. And that one, that one, and one in the very corner, that one right there, which I haven't put in. 
So I'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, so the last one is gonna be in the center right here. This one, don't forget this bolt. Let's go to hand time it. All right, so there's a total of 10, 10, 10 millimeters. And the torques for those are seven foot pounds. And the 12, two 10 millimeters, it's gonna be 15 foot pounds. This is that one right there. And the one in the back and bottom right here. All right, let's go ahead and tighten it. Also, since Drew already at it, might as well replace the spark plugs. The three in the back here, there's one, two. Third one's right there. All right, let's go and replace those spark plugs. All right, let's go and check out the conditions. Take it out. So, the socket for the spark plugs is a regular 5.8. Spark plugs came with it. Great. Excuse my socket, this one. The spark plug socket doesn't have the magnet anymore. The little rubber that goes in here. Well, oh, actually, this one has it. Well, sometimes it pulls it out, sometimes it won't. As you can see, the 100,000, 176,000 miles. Spark plug still looks pretty good. But if you're here already, you might as well replace it. She has a Denzo on it. There's a little bit of oil right here. But we already replaced the spark spark plug seals. So we won't have that problem no more. Alright, just go ahead and take out the rest and check out the conditions. Alright, just go ahead and drop your 5 8 spark plug socket in there. So here's the second one, more of the first one. It doesn't look bad at all. Let's get the last one out. After that, just pull it by hand or loosen it. Pull your extension. Just gonna pull it out. Same thing. Appears to be in very good shape. All right, so the dealer recommends the spark plugs to replace replace them every 120,000 miles. If you're using the original. All right, let's go to replace the spark plugs. Put in the new ones. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the new ones, and also I'll include all the part number under the description. All right, just gonna put the new ones on. Just go ahead and drop them in there. Do that. Go ahead and tighten them. You just hand tighten them first. All right, so once it stops. Just go ahead and tighten it with your ratchet. All right, so there's no need to over tighten this. Just give it a little tug and that should be it. All right, that should be enough. All right, just gonna tighten the rest. Same thing, go ahead and hand tighten it. After that, tighten it with your ratchet. Also, just a little tug, that should be enough. I need to over tighten the spark plugs. All right, that's it. Just gonna get the last one. Get 
And last one. After you hand tighten it, it stops. Tighten it with your ratchet. A little tug should be enough. on see remember we put the bolts back in so we don't lose them let's get a hand tighten this 10 millimeter all right after that tighten it with your ratchet for this one there's no need to over tighten it just give it a little tug. Should be good. Alright, let's go ahead and get the other ones. Last one right here. So remove the bolt. Let's go to hand tighten it, same thing. Let's go to hand tighten it. After that, go ahead and tighten it with your ratchet. Same thing, no need to over tighten this. That should be good. Alright, so go ahead and connect all your connections. This little one right here. Make sure it clicks. The first coil. Same thing, make sure it clicks. I'm gonna connect all of them. All right, so we're getting closer and closer. Go ahead and put this back in here. This one, that one right there. All right, after that, go ahead and tighten it. All right, next thing you want to connect is your injector line. Make sure it clicks in there. And screws in there. Just like that. And last one. Make sure it clicks in there. All right. Go ahead and put the intake back in. Before we do that, let's go ahead and clean the throttle body. So I'm back to see it right there. All right, so second thought. I don't think so. That should be the throttle body in the way. So let's go ahead and put the intake back in. Don't forget to connect all your electric connections. This one. That one right there. The one down, down there. The green one. And this one, all right, just go ahead and put the intake back in. This one will go to the intake. All right, just go ahead and bring it in. Just go ahead and move these towels. Let's go ahead and line it. So there's two hooks. This one, there's another one on the other side. Let's 
skoro na bani. Just gonna put the two nuts back in. One this side. The other one on this side. Let's go to hand tighten first. Alright, so the four bolts, the torques, same thing, let's go to hand tighten it. No tighten it all the way in. Let's go to start hand tighten it. Don't forget the two bolts on the back, the 12 millimeters. All right, let's go ahead and tighten this. All right, so the size for the torques is a T30. No need to tighten it all the way. As you can see, it's already aligned. All right, so let's get to the back bolt right here. 12 millimeter. Let's go ahead and feel the metal. See, it should be right here. All right, so I'm just gonna hand tighten the bolt first. Let's see the bolts right there, that one. Let's just see. I already have it in there. All right, so now I just have to tighten it. All right, let's go ahead and tighten that one. So that's a bracket that's attached to the manifold. Alright, let's go and tighten it. So once you have it, have it in there, same thing as you removed it, go ahead and tighten it with your wrench. I'll show you the other one on the other side. Alright, just gonna tighten this one. Alright, so the other bracket is this one right here. Same thing, just go to hand tighten it first. There it is, you see how they align. Just go to hand tighten it. That's it, there you have it. Tighten it with your wrench right here. Just gonna hook this back on right here. All right, so the torques for this bolt, the T30, torque 30 right here, is 13 foot-pounds, and the nuts, this one, this other one right here, this one, is 12 foot-pounds, all right, last thing to do is clean the throttle body, all right, let's go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and spray it. Let's go ahead and grab a towel. All right, let's go ahead and get this side too. All right, so make sure you put some gloves on because these chemicals are really harmful. All right, so here's the throttle body after cleaning it. All right, just gonna put it back in. Let's remove the bolts. So I always put the bolts back in so I don't lose them. As you saw, we didn't have to remove the throttle body from the cooler lines. So you're able to do it. All right, so you wanna make sure you wanna replace this gasket right here and make sure you put it the same way as this one. This little top right here has to go on top right here. All right, just gonna put the throttle body back in. Let's go ahead and start hand tying it first. This side 
this bracket has to go back on right here like this same thing just go to hand tighten it Let's get the top ones. Last one right here. All right, so for the torques for this one is seven foot pounds. Give it a little tug, that should be good. So my phone has died, so I couldn't record this part when I put this little bracket back on. Right there, that bolt, size 10 millimeter. So make sure you go in it. Put that back on so i'm gonna tighten that right now so yeah don't forget this one just back here so i will be replacing this filter so just go ahead and put the box back in all right so don't forget these two hooks on this side this one right here the other one right here Alright, so same thing as you pull it out, push it that way, and then go ahead and pull it up, put it back in the same way, put it that way and hook it to those two hooks, and then pull it backwards, you should hook up, so do that, go ahead and put the clips back on, there's only three, so right here, let's go ahead and tighten this 10 millimeter right here. Connect the hose right here. Gonna put the hose back in. Just gonna connect it back in. Don't forget your little lock. Put it back in there. Alright, let's go up the small hoses right here just remember this one goes in here this one goes here this one goes directly into the manifold right here make sure it's still connected on the other side And run it down instead right there this one goes in here just go ahead and hook it back in all right just go all around make sure everything's connected see this one hooks onto there all your hoses, make sure everything's connected. This one right there is connected. All right, so let's go check around. Don't forget your connections. Make sure it clicks back in. So I did take out the battery because the battery was bad on this car. So I will be replacing it. All right, just gonna connect the battery back on. All right, so let's go ahead and put back the banjo bolt right here, size 17 millimeter. There's two washers, one on this side, the other one on this side. All right, just gonna put that back in. Don't forget your connections right here. Make sure it clicks in. All right, just gonna put this bolt back in. All right, let's go ahead and connect everything back on. This little one goes on here. 
don't forget to connect this in here. Before we do that, I'm just gonna put our banjo bolt right here. So there's one washer on this side and one on the inside right here. So the torque for this one is 48 foot pounds. Let's go ahead and tighten that one. And also don't forget this little terminal right here, 10 millimeter right here. Just connects right here. Using this wire. I'm just gonna put the washer back on. So one on this, which is already attached to the bolt. One right here. The other one has to go inside. Let's go ahead and align it. This washer goes in the back here. All right, just gonna reinstall it. Let's go ahead and hand tighten it. So this has for this one, size 17 millimeter. All right, for the torque for this one is 48 foot pounds. All right, I'm just gonna tighten it. All right, just gonna put the mount back on. The shorter one goes on top here. Make sure you align it. Let's go to hand tighten it. That one's in. The longer bolt goes right here. All right, so if you want to replace the front covers, there's 11 bolts. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the last one, and it's in the center. Don't forget this one. Now your valve cover won't be loose and it won't come out. So this is the last one, the center one right here. All right. So, yeah, you have easy access to the spark plugs right here. One, two, three, three bolts holding it. Just pull it out. You might want to keep the coils in there if possible. So, not this break easily. The little locks right here. Not grab a flathead screwdriver, a small one. Just pry it out from right here. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.